Hello everyone, welcome to Cooking K channel. I'm going to make the very popular Korean fried chicken today. What makes Korean fried chicken so different from other kinds of fried chicken? Is its lightness and crispiness smarter in a hot, spicy, garlicky, Korean inspired goji jang sauce? Oh my god, it's so good. Let's get started. I'm using six boneless and skinless chicken thighs today. Of course, you can also use chicken breast or chicken wings instead. Sliced into long, thick strips. Marinate with one teaspoonful of salt, one teaspoonful of white pepper, one teaspoonful of garlic powder, and one teaspoonful of chicken powder. Give it a good mix. Crack in two eggs. Mix them with the chicken. Now for the crispy coating. Add 200 gram of plain flour into a large plate. Mix with 60 gram of corn flour, one teaspoonful of salt, One teaspoonful of white pepper. One teaspoonful of paprika. One teaspoonful of baking powder. One teaspoonful of garlic powder. One teaspoonful of all-purpose seasoning and one teaspoonful of chili flakes. Then mix them all together. For the sauce, this sauce is so rich flavoured and complex, and it comes together very easily. In a saucepan, add 3 tablespoonful of kochi junk paste, 5 tablespoonful of brown sugar, 3 tablespoonful of honey, 3 tablespoonful of tomato ketchup, 5 tablespoonful of soy sauce, 2 tablespoonful of sesame oil, 2 tablespoonful of vegetable oil, 3 tablespoonful of minced garlic, and 2 tablespoonful of ginger powder. And mix them together with a cup of water, and that's all to it. Add one third of vegetable oil into a frying pan over medium heat. Heat the oil up to 170 degrees Celsius, then coat the chicken strips with seasoned flour. Add them into the hot oil one by one. And don't forget to stir constantly to prevent the chickens sticking together. Fry the chicken for 8 to 10 minutes until turned golden. Remove from the oil. When the chicken comes out of the oil, 
the coating will be securely achieved to the chicken. Reheat the oil and remove the bits and toss the crispy chicken in it. Double fry the chicken is to create a crispy exterior. Heat up the sauce that prepared earlier. Simmer and bubble it up until sticky and syrupy. It will take up to around 3 to 4 minutes. Add the chicken in, stir and mix them together. Garnish with chopped spring onions and crispy onions on top. This is it. Delicious, hot, spicy, garlicky and crunchy Korean chicken is ready to serve. It's insanely good. Hope you like my Korean chicken recipe and give it a try. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for more recipes. Thank you for watching.